everyone, this is Arun Alva Chaudhary. You can follow me on my social media handles, Arun Foot. Today, the topic is German football. It is FC Bayern Munich, or as it's called in Germany, FC Bayern München. Big news earlier today came out that the club has had conversations with its head coach, Thomas Tuchel, and they have jointly decided to end their relationship at the end of June, at the end of this season. It's been a crazy week for Bayern Munich. They first lost 3-0 against Bayer Leverkusen in the Bundesliga top clash, which was really one-sided for Bayern Ulfir. Then they went to Lazio in the Champions League, lost 1-0, Aubameyang conceding a red card and a penalty. And then Bayern last Sunday was at VfL Bochum in the Bundesliga and lost 2-3 in an exciting game of football. And once again, Upamecano penalty was sent off. And those were the first three losses in a row in nearly a decade for the club. Eight points behind in the Bundesliga, one goal behind Lazio in the Champions League, which in Munich they can still surely turn around as they've done multiple times over the years. And of course, early in the season, they lost to Erste FC Saarbrücken, a third division team in the German Cup. There have been problems between Thomas Tuchel and the team. It's been reported. A lot of people thought Bayern Munich is very, very nervous. If they lose three matches in a row, would they fire the head coach immediately? They didn't. But Bayern Munich and Thomas Tuchel realize this relationship is not really working out that both sides most probably would have hoped it would do. Thomas Tuchel came in last year in March as a replacement for Julian Nagelsmann, who actually had a long-term contract. And I would have said, I would have thought that Julian Nagelsmann could have been a coach for Bayern to work for a number of years. Maybe, you know, have an era at the club. Tuchel came in. He was on the market. The management wasn't happy with Nagelsmann. They sensationally, on the last match day, won last season's Bundesliga title, pipping Borussia Dortmund to the title, the 11th title in a row. But this season, things haven't been good and there's been different reasons. Thomas Tuchel is Thomas Tuchel. He's never been an easy character, an easy manager, a very demanding person from himself, from his team. Um, the team has to be mentioned because since Pep Guardiola left Bayern Munich and joined Manchester City, no manager has been really been able at Bayern to have a long-term stint at the club. And then there's the management. A few years back, Uli Hoeneß and then Karl-Heinz Rummenigge left the board. Oliver Kahn took over as CEO. Hassan Salihamidzic was the sporting director or the board member for sports later on. They were fired on the day that Bayern Munich won the Bundesliga title last year. Dresden has been in charge. Max Eberl is supposed to come in next month and take over. Freund has come in from Red Bull Salzburg. So a lot of changes also in the management of Bayern Munich. The club is very, very nervous. And as someone who's worked for Bayern Munich a number of times over the years, the club has been very, very nervous. It's been one of the most successful periods in its history, winning the Bundesliga title so many times. The treble in 2020, in that Corona season, in that COVID season. And still, things haven't worked out. The question now is, who will come in in the summer? Of course, one of the logical Coaches to mention, to name, would be Xabi Alonso. But there's some other interesting names being thrown around, like Zinedine Zidane, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Antonio Conte. Could Hansi Flick maybe return? Could Bayern maybe tempt Jurgen Klopp to delay his sabbatical? We'll have to wait and see. Then it's always interesting around the Reds from Munich. This is Arnavo Jodri. Signing off and as always, like, share and subscribe and let me have your opinions on this decision 
of Bayern Munich to end the relationship with Thomas Tuchel at the end of the season. I'll catch you soon. Bye.